Hi there, quick workshop on dimensioning onto a bill of quantities. So on the left here, I have all my dimension paper with my abstracts on there. I've got excavation, site preparation, all under groundwork. And then I've got brickwork, blockwork, concrete under substructure. Separated them out because actually when I go to my bill, this is my bill here, and I can create this on Excel or any other format you like, Word, Excel, anything. Um, groundwork here, substructure there, and then all the information within, site preparation, excavation, filling. So all I need to do with this is basically transpose from this information over to this over here. So my quantities which I've measured, my um, site preparation, my topsoil removal, I've actually got over here, see this B, filling, under filling, my topsoil volume, I've turned that into a volume, okay? So over on my left, I've got my topsoil in meters squared, and on my right, I've actually worked out the topsoil in meters cubed. So I can easily, hopefully, <laughs> put the quantity depending on what's required. So the unit, I don't know yet, because actually, Topsoil removal, uh, do I use my excavator, 40 pound per meter squared, in which case I put meter squared here, and then I'd put my one, one, one meter, sorry, meter squared, meter cubed, I put one, more, one meter cubed in the quantity bit there, and then I could easily work that out. Um, or is there more involved? Now this is up to you to work out. So I'm just gonna move on and give you some examples that I do know. So one is my excavation. I know my excavator cost is 40 pound per meters cubed. I know that because I've gone to the manufacturer to find out more 40 pound per meters cubed. I also know I've got 18 meters cubed of soil excavation because I've multiplied it there. Okay, 18 in there, meters cubed, times by 40, there you go, 720. And then you move on and you do the same for all the others. I've separated out um, disposal because the lorry cost is one thing, the fuel cost is another, and my tip charge is another thing. My tip charge might be from one company, my lorry and my fuel might be from two separate companies. So I do separate those out. You might want to just have them all in one if you've got one company that's doing the whole thing for you, okay? So it's all up to you how you, how you put this information into your bill of quantities, whether you separate it out completely, everything, or if you put it all as an all in rate up to you okay so once i've done all that got my groundwork total okay and then i move on i look at concrete so i've got four meters cubed over here concrete yep 3.94 meters cubed lovely brickwork and block work is in meters squared um over here okay um so that's great so i just put the numbers in the quantity i put my unit rates so labor and materials i've put again separately because i could have a different labor person so say my materials are from one manufacturer and my labor is a contractor so i separate them out or again you could do an all-in rate if you wanted okay um and then just quickly here my cost of bricks is per brick I need it to be per meter squared because I have measured my bricks. Here's my bricks material in 24 meters squared I've got. So how do I convert bricks to meters squared when I've got 60p per brick? There you go, that's how you do it, okay? So bear that in mind. Um, okay, that's it. So thanks for your time. Take care.